Right, another little video. Uh, this is an iPhone 4. Now, this has uh, seen better days. It, I actually had this phone originally. I bought it brand new. Um, I had it for a couple of years and I upgraded to an iPhone 5 and gave this to my wife. Um, it was in pristine condition, brand new, basically mint condition when I gave it to her because I had a really good case on it. Um, like an armour case, it's waterproof, shockproof, everything. And it was like mint, brand new condition when I gave it to her. She also looked after it, she had it in that case and it was still in brand new condition. And then I actually bought her a iPhone 5C a year or so later and um, this phone then went to my son, well one of my sons and um, despite instructions to keep it in the case it's, um, it didn't stand the case. So I've actually replaced this screen twice already. This will be the third time I've replaced the screen on this phone. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, so I actually went to my oldest son then he bought himself another phone and stuff like that and, and then it came back and then my youngest son had it for a while and then um, for my last son's birthday I bought him a, a new phone well I gave, gave him the 5C that's right because um, we sort of swapped phones around so I ended up having a I've got a 6S now and um, my 5 is now with my wife and um, the 5C is with my youngest so I just ended up going back to my oldest again because he lost his phone or broke it or something anyway. So he got this. Anyway, this is the status in now. You can see the, the bottom of the screen is completely broken. The home button's completely gone. It's, you know, it needs a new screen. Anyway. Um, so it's got this crap on here. and I'm amazed the back isn't smashed actually. But uh, anyway, so that's the plan. Is to pull this apart. Put a new screen on. And... Um, I don't know if anything else needs repairing while I'm in there. He hasn't said anything about anything being problematic. But uh, yeah, I think it's just a screen. But unfortunately, on these things, the screen is the last thing you pull out. So you have to completely strip the phone, which is a bit of a pain. So, in here's my box of bits. So, I'm certain I already have a screen in here. Um, I've purchased various ones. I don't know which one this is. I've got a 4 and a 4S screen. Um, I'm not sure which one's which. But I've got different ones. I think this is the 4. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 4. Okay. So, yep. Um, you even have enough parts, but so the home button's also gone, so I just need to make sure I've got actually got a button for that. As you can see, I've got a collection of parts. Um, ah, there we go. Home button's complete with the actual buttons. Awesome. Um, we've got some more there, so that's good. Also, got some white ones. Yeah. Right, so. Whenever I buy parts to fix a phone, I always get more than I need. So I've got quite a selection here. Um, anyway, so, so I've got the parts I need, I've got the screen, I've got the button. So let's pull this thing apart and uh, go from there. I purchased this pack a while ago too. Um, Got basically everything in it you could possibly need. <laughs> Every kind of screwdriver, little spludger things. It's just like, oh. It wasn't that expensive either. I think it was about ten dollars or something. Um, so no matter which size you need or what particular particular tool you need, it's all in there. So anyway, hopefully the lighting's good enough. It seems a bit dim here actually. Let's get some more light. Hold on a second. Let's turn this on. Oh wow, that's a bit brighter. I'll set it down quite low, don't need that much power. Just to get slightly more, hopefully that's better. Let's turn this one on to it. More light, more light. Yeah, no, 
do. Right. Unfortunately, I need to get more light behind me too, but I um, don't really have that at the moment. I actually need to better organise these screws. So my intention is to try and do this in one take again. We'll see how we go. Um, it may or may not happen. So this one's got little, little uh, Phillips screws in the bottom. Well, I'm guessing they're Phillips, I don't know, but they're... Um, I can't put it, I think the screw actually might say what it is, but it's a crosshair knife. Sometimes you've got those little... Um, uh, what are they called? They're not talks. Star, those little star ones. And, uh, anyway, so these case screws, back cover. Let's get some crap here. There's debris doing that again. Um, okay, battery cover. Always have the battery out first. Mind you, usually most of the time you have to do it anyway, depending on what you're doing. Screw on this more mag magnetization. I can't say it. magnetization. Get yourself one of these. You will never regret it. Come on. Let's pop. Hardest bit with these things is actually getting them apart and getting them back together again, <laughs> because the um, there's so many little screws. Um, I mean, because I've got to take the logic board out to get the screen out, which is really quite a pain. But um, something to that. It's got crap all over it. Looks like salt. That's weird. This. Hopefully you can see that. This little sticker has got like salt all over it. it. Looks like salt. Strange. This is a bit of glass from previous broke, but I don't think so. Hmm. What if it's uh, from the battery? Yeah, seems alright. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm hoping this um, camera angle is okay. Hopefully, not too much in the view. I might actually try raising this up to light. It should give you a bit of a less hands in the way view. Hopefully, let's just adjust this a bit more. Hopefully, this reduces some of the issues with having hands in the way. Probably going to be all right. Right, should be. <sighs> right. Uh, okay. Where to start? Well, let's start with this. Whatever I do, I've got to try and do it in reverse order when I put it back together. Which is always the hardest bit, is because there's always different little screws, not all the same, different lengths, different sizes. Um, so trying to get all this apart in the right sequence and put it back together in the right sequence is the hard bit. Sometimes the video helps, um, not always. I don't even see this, but my spudge is a bit mounted <laughs> from the last thing I pulled apart. Took a bit of stress. I always use plastic tools on these things. Now I've got to also eject that SIM card before I forget about it. Um, I need someone to eject that with. I actually should have a SIM ejector tool in here somewhere. I thought I would anyway. I might not have one in there. That's a big one. Um, 
Let's give it water. Here's my summer jet tool. Okay. Right. So I hope this is the audio because I actually checked out and got the thing plugged in properly. Um, Alright. Next piece. So I might just take all the shields off first. Got hair in there. Probably from the last time I pulled this thing apart. Anyway, um, let's start. That's logical. That shield. Interesting, they've found a couple of times when I pulled phones apart, which have been apart before, not necessarily by me, but by someone else. But the screws sometimes aren't even tight. I know that I would have tightened these screws, but um, they don't feel that tight. So even that one is loose and the vibrator there. So, um, yeah, that's quite interesting. Let's just try and get these in the right sequence. This positioning, so uh, anyway, it's the vibrator motor. Pop this, out. this lighting, I'm still happy with. That's not, it doesn't feel good enough. Um, this needs to be higher. Lighting sorted out, I'm not happy with it. Alright. So, the screws with this one here, which I've loosened already, but it's not coming out, which is interesting. It might be stuffed. Sure, it's not on the shield. It might be. Let's take it anyway. Oh, it's on the shield. Okay. The screw doesn't want to come out. It's probably not a particularly exciting video at this point, but um, some people might want to see exactly how one of these things comes apart and, um, and maybe how not to do things. <laughs> oh, oh. Sometimes I'll serve as a bad example, not a good example. Anyway, that's a shield there. Right, next bits. Pop these ribbon cables off. There's the camera. That cable. There's another cable here. I hope I've got it zoomed in enough. Let's have another look, just make sure you can see. Yeah, kind of. The tricky thing about doing the screen is getting these cables through, you gotta be careful not to damage them. Um, that's off, that's off. SIM cards out. That's out the way. So now I can start taking the logic board out. I need another screw off of that. Let's get one of these ones. Where's that flat one? Up there. Right. The 
screwdriver was not very magnetic, which has uh, been a little bit of a hindrance. I'll have to take that out too. Right. Is that screw there? Screw in there. Some funds have got two of these little um, step up screws, so it's actually like a, a post, a fitted post. Um, you have to watch out for that sometimes, and they're different sizes, you have to watch out for those because they, um, they used to get mixed up. I think that's all the logic pull screws out. Can't see anymore. There's a logic board out. We're not done yet. <laughs> uh, I've got to take this piece out. The actual speaker assembly, and so I can get to the screws for the screen down there. So the actual home button's been ripped off. The um, Half the cable still there. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see what you can see because I can't see the back of the camera. But there's there's half the cable there for the home button, ripped off. So yeah, that's kind of had it. That's where we go. More tweezers. Front's pretty dirty inside too because it's had that opening on the front. It's, it's pretty lots of dust and crap in it. Um, all right, so can I get to the screws? Get to those. Get to those. Get to that one. Um, I think that might be as far as I need to go. Okay, so the screws on the sides that go up each side, they just need to be loosened, you don't actually have to take them right out. Because I've got slotted um, posts on the screen itself. The ones in the corners do have to be taken out. Hopefully, you can still see what I'm doing. Is that going to come out? Just going to sit there. That's okay, it'll stay. That's the um, headphone jack. Is that coming out or not? I might just pop that out. And have a look at it and see if it looks okay or not because it's um no no that's why it's a joint cable goes to the headphones the uh sockets as well so maybe i won't pop that out i'll put that back in that's right it's a multi um multi flex it goes to more than one thing all right so you know i could maybe replace that if i need to um these buttons feel all right these buttons are stuffed anyway. They're not working. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna have to do that anyway. I'm gonna have to replace that um, those buttons anyway. So uh, I'll have to look at that. Do I have? That? Let me have a look. It looks like I might. Uh, yep, I've got one. Let 
looks like the correct one. So it's going to be more than just a screen replacement by the looks of it. I'm not sure if that's the right one or not. I've got four with a question mark. So it probably is the right one, but I'm not certain. Right, we'll find out. This is why I buy more than what I need at the time, because that way, when something like this comes up, you've got the parts. So anyway, I'll do that after. Um, that's a bit tricky in itself too, so. So that's that one out. Those stay there for now. I'm sure there's videos you can watch which or people doing this much faster than me. But um, I don't, you know, although you, I've replaced this a few times, it's been sort of, oh, I don't know, probably a year between each replacement. So I don't do a lot of phone stuff like this. So it's not like I'm super familiar with it. I kind of remember it, but um, not particularly well. I just know roughly what I need to do, and, and I have to kind of figure it out as I go. Um, I'll just drop that screw in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So I think that should come out now. Just making sure I've got all those screws loosened off. It's the corner screws that should now want to come out. This in itself should be quite interesting. Okay. All right, so there's the old screen out. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty messy. I'm not sure if I've got any new adhesive. These screens don't come with the adhesive. So, because this is um, this bit here is normally sticky to help hold the screen down, um, but because they've been done so many times now, that's all gone. <laughs> they've lost their effect. Um, that's a bit of a clean just there. You have to be careful not to have any grit or anything in there because otherwise when you put the screen on it can actually create a stress point which you have a sharp on the screen or potentially crack it. So if there's any grit or bits of broken glass you have to get all those out to make sure it's going to seat properly. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah so that's all adhesive matte but it's all gone. Alright with these screens you have to be really careful not to kink these parts. Um, Really careful with these, they're really touchy, really sensitive. So you just got to kind of line, line up through there, you've got to guide it in and not kink it over. If you kink it over, you'll stuff it up. So it's got to be guided through without being kinked. Okay, that's in. Yeah. So that's in, that's fine. Okay, that will go. Awesome. So now I need to uh, look at the tone button situation. And sort that mess out. Right. It's supposed to be like a little rubber foot on the back of the um, screen, which holds it in place. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that on me. Come on, grab the packet. They've done there is it vacuumed? It is. Yeah, so the little rubber pad that's supposed to hold the home button in place is gone. And I don't have a replacement. That's what I need to look at getting. 
ね。It's normally I kind of have something to hold that in place and just retain it, but、um, I'm not quite sure how well that's going to go. It might be a case of relying on that fit. So it kind of locks into there.、Um, see about that. And even the back of that connector here is all filthy. Oh, this is all bad. All、oh, this is cleaning. Do is we'll put the screen in. Right. Do we have IPA? Get that clean up. Try and get the dust and crap out of it. There's enough of it. It's gone right through it. Yeah, I'm sure it's broken glass. Stuck in there.、So、this is bits of the old home button left sitting in there. Come out. Don't want them anymore. Let's see this crap up here too. So it's very important the screen sits properly. Very important. Okay, it's looking pretty good now. I'm actually tempted to replace this whole bloody dock connector assembly. It doesn't look too bad, but、uh, never quite know. There, I was cleaning up the connections for that. Put that back in. My phone's got a little rubber boot. Let's pop that back in there like that. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to put this back together.、Um, Got the thing in there. Well, I don't know. It just didn't want to fit right. Anyway, so let's go in now. The clicks. Yeah. <sighs> so that's a bit of a pain for some reason. So now I'm going to put the screen on. Again, same thing. I've got to thread that through really carefully. Make sure not to kink the cables over when you go through. You see through there. You make sure you don't kink over. You've got to thread them through nicely. Because you kink them over, you'll stuff it up. Definitely both through. Pop that back in. Now I've got to try and do is get the because all these little screws on the sides got little washers on, so you got to make sure the fingers on the back of the screen go behind the washers. So what I do is I do one side first, then I pop it out to the other side. And I should push them all back into the right places. Let's double check they're all behind. No, that one's not. Okay. Got to pull that back out. That side's alright, but the top one's not. So I see the, there's one there which is just being a little bit stubborn. Sometimes the fingers don't quite line up right. Come on, down. Okay, that's it. Now 
let's give it a gentle squeeze and let's do up a screw there hold it in place opposite corner same thing gentle squeeze Got the screw to hold it in place. This screwdriver's not doing very well actually, I might have to change it. Might be stuffed. Might be time for a new screwdriver. Anyway, um, alright, so now I'm going to put these screws back in. Hold the actual corners. Something can be a little bit fiddly again. This was the worst one, rightly. Again, it's pushed down slightly to hold it in, so it's pushed right down. And I'll come back and do the middle ones and the rest of the screen in a minute. I'll have to get the corners in. I think the screwdriver's on its last legs. Probably one of the most fiddly parts where it's getting those screen screws back in again. Next to the home button, of course. Get in. Okay. I think the screwdriver's had it. best to not try and uh, risk stripping the screws when you're trying to do them because it wouldn't be easy to get new ones. I don't know, it might be easy to get new ones. Who knows? You probably can get them somewhere. Okay, now do the other side screws up. doesn't feel right these side screws it's not happy about doing these ones up I need a slightly bigger screwdriver that doesn't feel quite right it's not too big yeah it does feel slightly better right You gotta be careful not to over tighten because you don't want to strip the threads out. Just enough to lock it and just be nice and secure. You don't want to try and you know, go too far with it. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna to have to do is uh, there's still a lot of crap in here. Um, look at replacing this little assembly here the speaker and volume and the mute switch assembly here, this one here. So, because those buttons aren't working. So what I mean, I might as well replace it. So let's pull this out. Remember rightly, this is also an extremely awkward fiddly thing to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I've done this one once before and it was, yeah, not good.
So I'm working on the screws right to left. So when I put it back together, I'm going left to right. Just the way my head works, it just uh, makes sense to do that way. And when I'm lining the screws up on the bench, I'm doing in the order they've got to go back in. So that's uh, so it matches how I'm dis dismantling it to try and make it easier to put it back together. I mean, you can get these little pads which you can um, put down to. Uh, so where does where does the face, isn't it? Yeah, just making sure in which way around that button goes, where that switch goes for the mute. Um, so you can get these little pads which uh, you can put your screws down on, and they're magnetic. I think I fix it, sell them, something like that. And um, this means you can pull it apart. This makes it a bit easier because everything is labelled and positioned where it needs to go. Okay, so there's that assembly there. Now, what this has got is got some little metal parts on here which you have to be transferred onto the new part. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be fun. <sighs> this was a nightmare last time I did it too. So there's a bracket here which has got to be peeled off. Old crap off. Clean. Hopefully, a new one will stick a bit better. Yeah, last time this was a real pain because. Oh, so fiddly, I hate working on fiddly stuff like this, you know. But uh, here's what it is. About there. It's got little holes which line up with the um, switch itself. Should have little pinholes on the switch which shows which way in it goes. I'll put that on there before I forget. Again, you've got to get all these little bits lined up perfectly, otherwise this does not work. It's almost there, not quite. Some up volume buttons. The mute switch is also quite a pain. Um, Unfortunately, I was expecting this camera angles means you can't see half what I'm doing. But then trying to find a camera that does work for this is going to be tricky. Especially when I'm leaning over the work. If I was to put it above me, it'd be um, probably no, no better. Anyway, there's a new switch. Which is really supposed to be melted and pressed into place. I need to look at that. Let's get my 
soldier I'm going. It's got two little pins which you have to be melted and pressed in to hold it in. I had the same problem with the um, what was that on iPhone 5 for that one switch but that was a much harder bloody thing. Come on, boy. This is going to be quite a boring video, I expect. I don't know, maybe someone who wants to do this will appreciate it, but uh, I think that's okay. I think that's done. Right. So this little cover which goes back on the front. I've got to try and pick up now. Come on. It kind of sticks on, but yeah, anyway. How sticky it is now, I'm not sure. <laughs> Not very sticky. I think its stickiness has seen the end of its life. Um, yeah. Guess I'll put a drop of super glue on it then. Just to try and hold one edge at least. Some of these things are you trying to get the bloody sticky pads to go with these. Pretty much can't do it. So hopefully that'll be lined up. Just trying to wiggle it backwards slightly. Uh, and I've got a headache today. I had a headache yesterday too. Not good. So that's our tricky bits done. Um, as to why it wasn't working, I don't know. Yeah, those buttons are stuffed, they collapsed. Right, that explains why it doesn't work. Now, I've got to put all this back in again. Let's clean the crap out while I'm in here. So this is a bit fiddly getting it back together. You also got these adhesive pads, which you need to stick down too. But um, probably the hardest part of this is actually getting the mute button to to go in and be lined up. So that's downwards. So I'll do the mute button first, then I'll try and do the sticky pad thing afterwards. Put that in as a little cover that goes at the back of it as well. Which helps to hold it down. Like so. I have to make sure the switch is working. Let me 
feels like it's working. Now I've got to try and get this little screws back in. Very fiddly stuff. Like so, I'll try and get through all this flex. Once I get one screw in, ah, uh, fell off. Come on, back on the tip. Once I get one screw in, then I'm alright. But uh, trying to get that first one in is the hardest because it falls off, and then you got no hands left. Come on. I really wish it was an easy way that they'd do these things. I suppose all assembled by robots or something. Which don't have a problem with this sort of stuff. Come on, get in. Yay, okay, one. One screws in. Now I can relax a little bit. Next one. Make sure it lines up. Drop that in. There may be an easy way of doing this. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so that's those two screws in there. See those little sticky pads everywhere. It's line all these things. And so what I need to do here is actually fold this pad over the back of that one so it bends it around so let's do that now not going to do that pad yet I should have probably done this before I put it back in the phone actually but uh, mind. like so in there. So I'll pull that pad there off. There is a little bit of uh, forgiveness on these, but not a huge amount. screw first I think then I'll just test if they actually line up and seem to work or not Yeah, so this is really fiddly stuff. I mean, the actual screen part is, is one of the easier bits to do. It's just all the other crap that goes along with it. The, um, but anyway, I don't know. It's the way it is. As the prodigy say in the tracks. It's just the way it is. Now, there's a pad there which is blocking the screw hole, which is awesome. Screw hole in the middle, and a little adhesive sticker goes right across the bloody back of the flex. I'm going to have to try and get through that somehow. Come on, get down there. Let's try and get the thing to line up right now. It's not being very cooperative. Just 
doesn't quite want to go in. probably not the best thing to be doing when you've got a headache. I'm really hoping this isn't a really crappy camera going go you could have, you know, an hour and a half of the back of my hand. I don't know. <laughs> it could be that bad. I don't know. Oh dear. Come on, get in. Why doesn't that want to go in? This is going to drive me nuts too. <sighs> Come on. I know it's the right way around. So they actually got me wondering if when I uh, pulled this apart before the first time, I got one of the screws in the wrong places. Makes you wonder. Oh, come on, for fuck's sake. As you can tell, I'm getting a bit frustrated with this. Because it just does not want to go on there. What was it taken now? Is it? taken but it's wonky so that's not good I'll get the middle one in right, let's try this one again it just does not want to go in there I'm sure I've got that right. It's just not quite lined up. It's just a fraction out, I think. There's like a little ledge there, it's got to try and go around. Is that it? I'm going to start the screws too short. Just going to pause this for a second. <coughs> well, after much fiddling around, I managed to get the uh, pit pad together. Um, it looks like the last time I did this, I actually had that little bracket, that middle piece, back to front. So when I've done it again this time, I've put it on back to front again. So the little... Um, a bit of fluff in there. Um, the little notch in the end of that bar. One end's got a hole, the other end's got a notch. So it's got like a, a semicircle cut out at the end. That goes that end. So I actually put it together backwards last time and I've done it again this time. So I've had to pull that back off and um, fix that. Got this fluff in here now for my bloody cotton bud was getting it clean. All right. um, so yes, that's now in and those buttons now click. And that mute button's clicks too so it's all working all right so I had to route this around in here runs along the back you've got a couple of bits of 
um, adhesive strip you have to peel off and stick it to itself to make it stay there anyway um, so that's back together so now I'm ready to put uh, these other parts back in so I'm going to put this speaker assembly back in again let's give it a bit of a clean up before it goes in just get the worst of the dust off it so I'll pop that in first it's a lot easier to put it in first than it is last I think it's these screws actually might be not very magnetic um, which hole did they go in? Oh, I don't remember oh, I don't remember I think it was this one we'll find out anyway let's put the logic ball back in This is where you got to make sure you don't leave anything underneath it, like the pull tab, for example. Although this one's a bit torn, so a bit of use. So they're cutting your batches, putting it. I've got to get all these little connectors out of the way, like so. It's got to kind of go into that notch at the end there. So this is where it gets a bit fiddly as well, just trying to get all the bits back in because um, you've got this new flex cable here which has to sit just right to that's got to sit down like so right it's got to push down like that so you can get the logic board in caught up and stuff there's like a little slot on the end the logic board's got to go into and then you can drop this down like that here we go it's starting to, wanting to go in there now so you'll show these two flex cables which should be able to bend around and reach Okay, they should both reach, okay. Alright. Put these screws in. That one first. Purely because that's the easiest one to get in. Make sure it looks like it's kind of lined up with the other screw holes. If it feels like it's not sitting right, always pull it back out and just double check because you can get it does not quite align properly and it will just not quite sit right, it might sit flat it shouldn't be trying to flex, it should just be sitting there nice and solid right, um, look at that screw down there hmm. maybe that screw is not from there, that's from that shield screw that's right, it's a shield screw, so um, this is not in the right place this one not right. So I'm thinking maybe that one should go over that side. I'm, oh. oh my god, my, my system has, has let me down. I'm pretty sure this one goes this side because it's got the large flat head which it needs for the circuit board edge. Just there. more sense right okay yeah I don't know. but so even even when you're trying to be careful and making sure that things go in the right places you can still get it wrong right so now when I've got that bit in I'm gonna put this cable here on so which is also very fiddly everything's bloody fiddly on this but uh, that's the nature, the nature of it You mustn't force it, you have to try and get it lined up and then just it should just pop on quite nicely, but if you force it you end up breaking it. But you 
can be a bit tricky getting it lined up. There we go, that's on. Right. Now this flex has actually got an adhesive on it because um, I've, I've replaced this bottom connector once. I haven't peeled the adhesive off. I've just left it because I thought, well, it doesn't really need it. This makes it harder to work on in future. So I just left it off. Then stick that back down. Okay, let's snap it there. Camera, Get it clean. Easy to clean it now, and it is loader. Um, just a bit more fluff in there. I keep getting fluffy with it. I'm having cats. Get cat hair everywhere. Anyway, let's put that back in there. Connector in. So I think I'm ready to actually connect, connect all these cables back up. Again, you just sort of feel around, you don't force them, you just feel around and they'll just pop on once once they line up. You don't try and go too hard with it. Once it lines up, it'll just pop straight on. This one's going to be a bit frilly because it's not been on before. There we go. That's that new one. Um, which I think I've actually got on the outside of that and I should be on the inside of that. Yes, I do think I need to be on the inside of that. So let's pop that back out. Be behind there, like that, just like so. There you go. Come on. Right. Now, one brand new flex cable, which is going to be a little bit tight to get in the right place. Okay, that's in. Next one. In. Okay, so that's the screen digitizer connected. Put the shield on the top, it hooks into those little brackets just there. And left to right connections. The problem with this is that I've, so I've already pulled this apart once before and I may not have put it back together for properly the first time. It's entirely possible I did that wrong the first time. So um, it's been a couple of screws I looked at and thought, well, that doesn't look right. So I've had to change what I've done. Like this one here, I'm not convinced is right for a start. It really doesn't seem correct to me. I think it's supposed to go there. Even that I'm not convinced about. Anyway, um nah, that's not right, is it? Yeah, that's not right. I think it was right the other way. sitting down right. Might just be because of new flex cables. I'll come back to that screw, I'll leave that one out for now.
but if you look here you can see hopefully you can see there's a gap between that shield and that board so I'm not quite sure what's going on there why it's being such a pain it's because it's got that little metal shield there and that screw into a little metal shield that's why and it's stripped out that's what I think is going on there because it's not, it's not doing up and it's got a thin little metal shield that's underneath that so that screw there can't screw in anymore so I think that's under that screw Alright, let's put the vibrator back in again. Get him up, it will be helpful. So we're getting there. What's the next thing I need to do? To put this one back on. Close to being ready to test this actually. Probably should have tested it already, but uh, yeah, well, if it doesn't work, I'll pull it apart again, that's all. So, um, let's pop this battery back in. I don't have the passcode for this because my, my son has got his passcode on it and locked it, so I don't actually know what the passcode is. Picked up a piece and it just flicked. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. This little bit here is a bit funny, but it fits. But, um, Underneath it. So it's always a bit of a pain getting it back in, right? I could turn up at the whole phone, do I? Whole phone's a bit of a pain, really. But, uh, okay, back down again. Once I get the screw in, I'll be able to turn it on, make sure it actually works. And hopefully, I haven't cocked anything up. All right, find the truth. Well, we have a screen. It's a start. This takes a while to start. I won't, I won't screen the uh, peel the cover off yet until I finish working on the bench. Don't scratch the screen. It's quite stormy outside today. We had thunder and everything yesterday. Being an iPhone 4, it's a bit slow to start up. It does take a little while. Just slide it back 
cover back on. No sim, let's recognise that at least. Oh, okay, it's been reset. He's reset it, interesting. Maybe he wasn't actually using it yet. Well, in that case, I shall show it down. Put a sim in it. Obviously, the touchscreen's working, um, so it's looking pretty good. So, I'll fully reassemble it and I'll get that set up and uh, get it all working for him. Surprised it's reset actually, I wouldn't have thought he'd reset it, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully everything's working. I mean, if the um, dock connector part stuff's up, it's pretty easy to change that. But the, um, so I've already changed that once before. This is not wanting to screw in. Come on. Here we go. I'm still not wanting to go. Right. Well. Cement. Power it up again, and I'll set it up. So anyway, it looks like that's been a successful repair. We'll find out soon enough. So he's got like a almost his new iPhone again, again, again. <laughs> so anyway that's how you replace the screen on iPhone although you could probably do it a lot faster than that I could probably do it a lot faster than that but um, I'm recording a video and I'm trying to remember what I'm doing I'm trying to think and I've got headaches so I'm not really completely focused I mean we're struggling a little bit today um, yeah having headaches certainly makes it a lot harder I can't really concentrate alright No service apparently. Right. I will see what happens when it's going. Hopefully I haven't forgotten something. Right. I'm not going to do this on screen obviously. So it's saying no service, which is interesting. That could be an issue. Oh no, there we go. Um, can't see there's a new one, I suppose. So right, it is working. There we go. Of course, you agree to some conditions. Never ever read them, but um, no passcode for now. Son can set that up when he gets it back. Send diagnostics, what the hell. So, yes, one phone set up and touch screen's working. Volume buttons. Volume buttons work. Carrier settings update. Yeah, sure, what the hell. Um, Power button obviously works, so um, let's check things like the speaker. Sound, sound. Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. So, yes, it's working. She's going. Um, 
Done, did. I'm happy with that. I'm sure my son will be too.